closing my door because I have to be quiet because it is like 5.45 in the morning. So I have one roommate that's still sleeping. But I just went downstairs and I was going to make coffee. And my other roommate who is a nurse in Nashville was up getting ready for work. And she was like, it's your last day of class. Go to Starbucks. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced I'm going to Starbucks. So I'm gonna quickly get ready for my last day of nursing school. I cannot believe I'm here. I'll talk more about it in the car when I can talk louder. I literally woke up like bright and early. And I was like, I'm ready to get this day going. I have dreamt of this day for so long. And quite frankly, I have a lot of feelings about today, but I'll go over that later. Cause I wasn't really getting into depth, but I'm gonna try to get ready in like 30 minutes. I'm just gonna get a coffee. I don't think I'm gonna get anything to eat because I have um, a banana that I need to eat. So I think I'm just gonna eat that for breakfast. But this morning we have our second um, exit exam. I passed my first one. I think it was two weeks ago now. Maybe three, but I passed my first one. So this one's just kind of like, they're making us take it just cause it's the new gen and so our first exit exam was like the old style NCLEX and then this exit exam is like the um, new gen NCLEX style exit exam. So I can update you on that and what to expect if you have to take this exit exam. It's like through ATI. So your program will only, if you're using ATI, then your program will probably use this exit exam. But, I'll go into detail about that in a minute. I'm gonna finish getting ready because I want Starbucks. Also, please ignore my face because I have been so anxious the past couple weeks with trying to work and get all my schoolwork done and get everything done for clinical. Then my face is literally freaking out on me. So that's what's going on here. Um. I ran outside this morning. It was like it's so pitch. It's dark out. I ran outside this morning to get my makeup bag in my car because I had left it in there from where I went to Chattanooga for a concert um, last week. So much fun. But I left my makeup bag in the car and I ran outside literally in this, some sleeping pants and my slippers. And I was running back inside and I was like, oh my God, it's so cold. And I literally yelled it. And I look up, and there's this guy standing in front of me walking his two dogs. Could you imagine wa walking your dogs at like 5.45 in the morning thinking that you're not going to see anyone? And you see this running at you, talking about how cold it is? The man was too stunned to speak. I just like started laughing and ran in the door. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was like, I'm sorry you had to see that, sir. I've been using this facial moisturizer because I ran out, well I didn't run out of my CeraVe, I just have no idea where it is, but I've actually been liking it. Also, sorry for the camera angle, my um, thing that holds my camera up is downstairs, I'm trying to get ready really fast for Starbucks. It was in my makeup bag. Okay, I just put my scrubbies on. And I'm literally gonna try to do this in five minutes. All of my friends know how over nursing school I am. This is my second degree. I don't know if y'all know that, but I graduated with a degree in nutrition in 2020. I can't believe that was three years ago. <laughs> it's honestly horrid to think about. But yeah, so I'm just kind of Ever school, quite frankly. It's not something I enjoy doing. Some people are like, oh, I might go back and get my master's. I might go back and get my doctorate. I'm like, no. Mm -mm. Sign, seal, deliver. I got another BS. I'm out of here. Actually, I have three degrees. I have a degree, I have an associate's degree in like applied health science or something. I don't know, I got it in high school, so I have three degrees. Y'all. My roommate that just told me to go get some coffee just paid me for my coffee. <laughs> She's so sweet. 
That's so kind. Okay, this is the hairstyle that I'm wearing. And this battery did not charge that much. So I'm gonna hope that it lasts until I get home. And then I can update y'all. If you can't tell, I was not planning on vlogging today until like last night I was in bed. I was like, I'm gonna vlog because I want it for the memories. Okay, but I'm about to put my shoes on and jacket and head out the door. It is freezing out. <laughs> I'm literally so cold. Look at this. How am I supposed to go to Starbucks in these conditions? So I'm currently ordering online. I should have brought another freaking jacket. It better warm up today. Let me check. This thing is slaps. But I also kind of want the toffee nut. I love toffee nut. You know, I had toffee nut. That's amazing. It's just so good. Sorry it's so loud, but this is my order. If you want to screenshot, I get it with oat milk. Y'all, the sky this morning. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Hello. <laughs> Y'all, I just made it to campus. There was two cups sitting by the V at Starbucks. So I was like, I did not order it twice. <laughs> I checked, but the other girl's name was like Victoria or something. So I was like, okay. Cause like, when do you ever see that? Um, but I just made it to campus. This is hopefully the last time that I will ever be driving here. Uh, wow, that's exciting. Last night, I felt kind of nauseous knowing that today was my last day in nursing school just because, like, it's truly, like, a fight-or-flight constant state that you're in. And you just try to, like, manage life in nursing school. And I'm like, what do I do when I don't have to go home and I don't have assignments to do? Like, I'm allowed to sit at home and watch TV and, like, do things that I want to do and not have to worry about... Who's emailing me? What homework's due? What assignment did I not turn in? <laughs> oh, this is great. This is awesome. Yeah, so anyways, I don't wanna like burn my mouth. So I'm waiting for my coffee to cool off. But today is our last exam. So I don't know, I don't, pretty sure not every nursing school does this, but our sixth quarter, so we are an accelerated program. So our last quarter, we have one test. We just have one test is all we have and we have to do 150 hours of clinicals so that's 12 12 hour shifts and one six hour shift I already did that i finished that like three four weeks ago maybe and all of my classmates is walking in um so i did that and then we have to pass an exit exam to graduate nursing school and i feel like from talking to other people their exit exam was just like something they had to take but it didn't matter if they passed it or not so our exit exam is through ATI so our teachers don't make it we have no idea what's going to be on it it's basically like a mock NCLEX so we go in there and pretend like it's an NCLEX and whatnot and we have to get a 74% or higher which like doesn't seem bad but it's 180 questions <laughs> so that's the bad part um and then if we pass that the first time there's more of my classmates walking in. I guess I should walk in and go hang out with them because it is the last day. But um, if we don't pass the first time, we get a second chance to retake it. We get two chances. And this right now is our second chance on the last day of school. Like, how anxiety driven is that? Like, if you don't pass, like that. Oh gosh. So, so luckily I passed the first time. I got a 77. So I was very happy about that. So I like more than enough passed. And then we just have to do remediation on that. And then I'm about to go in and take the second one. But it doesn't matter how I do on this one because I passed the first one. You just have to pass one out of the two. Um, and then Friday is pinning. My parents are coming Thursday. Oh, my camera's about to die again. 
If that doesn't describe how the last day of nursing school is, then I don't know. And we're taking the next gen exit exam right now. The first one wasn't next gen. So after I take this test, I'll like describe what I thought the differences were test style wise, obviously not question wise, but test style wise. But yeah, about to go inside for my last day of class. Thank you guys so much. Okay, I just got done with class. Everyone passed. I cannot believe that I am done with freaking nursing school. Let's go. <laughs> I think I'm done. I don't ever have to go back to that building ever again. What is that? <sighs> I'm so happy about that. But my camera's about to die. So I'm going to run inside. Oh, sorry, let me turn my Zyper right off. Oh my goodness. Um, I still have to submit like my final clinical eval and upload the rest of my baddie stuff and then I'll officially be done. But yeah, I'll go inside once I get my charger and explain what kind of the um, next gen questions like looks like and what they had on the test. But I'm done. <laughs> okay, I just got back to my room and got a new battery. But anyways, so the next style, uh, next style, the next gen question styles were um, definitely practice doing bow tie questions and drag and drop. There's a lot of drag and drops. Um, there's a couple of select all that apply. There's like eight different answer choices when you have to read from an exhibit. I'm trying to think what else was on there that was like, honestly, they weren't like difficult. I think the difficult one was like the bow tie one just because it's a lot to look at. Like the material itself is not difficult, but the overall just looking at it, it's like, whoa, where do I even start? <laughs> there was like a scenario where there was maybe five questions on one like case study. So that was pretty nice. So you got to like use the same information and like build off of each other. Honestly, I didn't think the next gen questions were that bad. And I did not study at all for this test. So after, like once I took the first one, which wasn't next gen, I just started working and completing my homework and I literally did not study for this test at all and I scored about the same. So I don't think like the material wise it was difficult or anything like that. It was just a different style of test, but it was 180 questions. I have to finish some VADI stuff and then at my final clinical eval, I have to upload that. And then I think I'm just going to clean and organize my room because my parents are coming this weekend for graduation. And then I'm going to try to get a run in before I do like a little arm day at the gym. And then I think I might be going to get dinner with some classmates after that. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm done with school. I just woke up from my nap. And it's supposedly raining out. So I'm not going on a run anymore. But before I took a nap while I was watching YouTube, but... I got all my assignments submitted and don't mind the mess of my laptop. So working on a YouTube video. But I'm sad that the weather's like this. It's supposed to be in the 80s this weekend. So that'll be fun for when my parents get here. I'm cracking open a cold one. I gotta celebrate drinking a Celsius. Because if I don't, I will probably not make it to this workout. But I'm actually going to work out with one of my classmates who convinced me, Sarah, she convinced me to join this gym. And I freaking love it. Um, I'm just picking up what I made for lunch because I literally was so tired and I left it all out. But I'm about to finish my Celsius and go get ready for the gym. Hillary got me a graduation gift and <laughs> wants me to open it on FaceTime. I'm nervous to see what it is. What did you get me? For you. <laughs> you did not you eight boxes eight boxes what am i supposed to do with eight boxes of cosmic brownies 
Hillary. There was an option for four and I was like, oh, we're gonna switch it. We have a wedding to go to in a couple months.